Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can issue credit memos to customers for returned merchandise, discounts, and other types of credits. To issue a credit memo to a customer, open the Credit Memos window by selecting Tasks, Credit Memos from the menu bar. At the top of the window, use the Customer ID dropdown to select the customer to whom you are issuing the credit. Enter the date of the credit memo into the Credit Date field and enter the due date of the credit memo into the Due Date field. Leave the Credit Number field blank if you plan on printing the credit memo. Otherwise, fill in this field with the credit memo number that was assigned to the transaction. The customer's information appears in the Customer PO and Sales Rep fields if available. You can change these values if needed. To enter a return authorization number, enter it into the Return Authorization field. The customer's terms appear as a hyperlink under the Terms label. If you need to change the terms, click this link to open a Terms Information dialog box. You can then change the discount amount, discount date, and displayed terms if needed, and then click the OK button to return to the Credit Memos window. Below the header area are two different tabs into which you can enter credit information. One is called Apply to Invoice, and the other is called Apply to Sales. You input the credit information in the Apply to Sales tab to give credits to customers with no open invoices. You input the credit information on the Apply to Invoice tab if the customer has one or more current invoices to which you will apply the credit. If you use this tab, then you must use the Apply to Invoice Number drop-down to select an invoice to which to apply the credit. You use this tab when a customer returns merchandise and their invoice is still available. When you enter information on either tab, you need to enter the number of items returned and what item was returned. If the information is applied to an outstanding invoice using the Apply to Invoice Number tab, then the information from the selected invoice appears. Just enter the quantity and type of items returned. If using the Apply to Sales tab, you must enter the number and type of items being returned or for which you are crediting the customer. Fill in the other fields as needed. If the return involves serialized inventory, select the serialized inventory line item and then click the Serial Number button in the Windows toolbar to enter the serial numbers of the returned items in the Serial Number Selection window, which you use the same way as when entering serial numbers in an invoice. To save the credit memo when finished, click the Save button in the Windows toolbar. To then print the credit memo, click the Print button in the Windows toolbar. If you selected the Apply to Sales tab when you created the credit memo for the customer, then the credit memo will appear in the Receive Money window when you go to take payment from the customer for their next order. If you applied the credit to an actual invoice using the Apply to Invoice tab, then the amount due for the invoice actually changes, and when you later open the Receive Money window and select the Apply to Invoices tab, the amount of the invoice should already reflect the applied credit. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.